Hey there, and welcome to another video about failure. So in business, things are not always the prettiest and you're gonna fail. And I made a whole video kind of recapping some of my failures in the past, but I've recently run into a new one and I wanted to share it with you to hopefully help you avoid the same mistakes I did. Um, I know I learned a ton from this, uh, most of which it's gonna be in and around patience. And that's gonna be the number one thing you always wanna keep in mind when running a business is be patient, know when to be aggressive, when to attack, but also know when to be patient. And this was a moment where I wasn't patient. I jumped the gun a little bit and we're gonna dive into it. And it can be boiled down to one simple thing. I got fired from Amazon affiliates. And that doesn't feel good, right? I had created a whole series of sort of product review and unboxing videos that I intended to, you know, talk about my Amazon affiliate status with. These are products I use day in and day out and something I really liked using. And it helped me create these videos. It's helping me with my businesses. And I, I wanted to, you know, use that as another avenue of income, which will make more videos on Amazon affiliate programs and how you can monetize your platform and your products using affiliate programs like Amazon affiliates. But I was using them early on, uh, back when I was still leveraging my half pump channel. So that was my Twitch streaming channel that was all about video games. And then when I made that transition into this rebrand with just my name, Brian Bonebreak, I wanted to focus more on business. So I shifted a lot of those, those products and what I was talking about to what I was using to make these videos, what I was using uh, day in and day out, uh, because I wanted to show people kind of what I was doing, but also uh, allow you to kind of steal some of my ideas, right? Lower that barrier of entry, something we're always trying to do. So before I dive into how I got fired uh, from the Amazon Affiliates program. Let's talk a little bit about what Amazon Affiliates is. At first glance, it seems like a pretty easy and simple program. And in reality, it, it pretty much is, right? You sign up, you recommend products that you're using as is uh, in your day-to-day -day with your with your platform, maybe the camera you're using or the lens you're using or the lights that you're using or microphone that you're using. In my case, that's where I was making some videos about those. And I wanted to share with people, you know, cost-effective approach, maybe an upgrade path to a full professional view, kind of like what I have here today with a, a two camera setup and, you know, nice lenses. But that's because I really wanted to up my production value. You don't have to start there. And there's a bunch of tools, low cost tools that you can use to get it started. So I was like, great, let's use uh, the Amazon Associate or Affiliates program um, to talk about these, these products, you know, get some commissions off of talking about those products. Cause right, it's all about multiple streams of income when building your brand. And one of my companies I own is this YouTube channel and my social media pre presence in addition to the several other you know, product-based companies that I own. So I wanted just to, you know, take advantage of that, share the knowledge, share the things I'm really comfortable with. And then you look here and it's pretty easy. Okay, I sign up, I, I recommend products that I'm already using, cool. And then I can earn up to 10%. Awesome, okay, I'm in, I'm in. Uh, there's some frequently asked questions down here. How do you qualify for the program? How does the associates program work? I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, how do I earn on this program and how do I sign up for the program, right? Fairly basic stuff. You can follow those links and, uh, you know, get excited about the information there, but the program is pretty straightforward. You basically just use their affiliate, uh, platform to generate links and you use those links in things like your blogs or in the description in your videos or in your posts on social media. Uh, you do have to you know, share some information, like make it very clear that you are an Amazon affiliate member um, and that you do get a, a kickback from that. So they have some rules and regulations about how you can post about uh, being an affiliate. 
as well as um, how you can handle those links. So there's a bunch of different approaches and some of them a little bit more controversial than other on how you can handle those Amazon links. But the safest way is just to use the uh, native link from Amazon that you build in the backend affiliate portal. Well, that seems pretty straightforward, right? I'm already using these products. I believe in these products. I wanna share with people what I'm using. And then I can come here to this next view and kind of see what the commissions look like for these products. And man, if you're in the luxury beauty, luxury s stores and Amazon coins business, you can earn up to 10%. That's crazy. So all those makeup tutorials, um, if that's what you're into, you can make a lot of money if you just drop a link below to the product you're already using. And then it just kind of goes down from there to digital music and physical books and tablet devices, toys, PC parts, so on and so forth. You can see this chart here. And again, you just get excited, all right? This program seems pretty easy, but this is where the rub is. And this is how I got fired from Amazon affiliates. And it's never fun to get fired and uh, <laughs> and it, essentially it was my own fault. I, I jumped the gun, I was too impatient. My platform was not mature enough to support this. Uh, this is gonna be one point I really want to emphasize with you when using an affiliate program is that you wanna make sure you're doing it when your platform is mature. And the level of maturity and what does that mean for subscribers and followers numbers, it is all gonna vary based on your niche. But needless to say, you do need to have some momentum behind your platform. So I'm not gonna sit here and give you concrete numbers as to if you're in the beauty space, you need this many subscribers or followers uh, before you truly have enough momentum um, for, for your brand to leverage an affiliate program. Maybe you're very niche. And if you're very niche, it's gonna take a lot less than somebody that might be uh, very broad in their approach. So let's talk about the specific rule that I broke. And that's gonna actually come right here in the second paragraph. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that for you. We require at least three sales within the first 180 days. Yes, that is correct. I could not generate three sales in 180 days. That boils down to about six months. And there was a couple things that contributed to this. One, I did a rebrand right in the middle of that, right? I came back, I started focusing on my half pump channel. There was a lot of confusion. I didn't really settle into a niche because I was really excited to come back and play video games and, and uh, stream on Twitch. But then I realized my real passion was in and around helping people build businesses. And so I started doing that um, under the guise of half pump and then that didn't make any sense. Who's gonna believe a guy who's going under a gamer tag? right? And it's talking about business and finance. So rebranded to leverage my personal brand and, you know, experience working with Fortune 100, Fortune 500 companies as a consultant, um, as well as the things I'm doing in my personal life with the businesses I've built. And in that process, I relaunched my platforms, I relaunched my YouTube, I relaunched uh, my Instagram and Twitter accounts, and even my Twitch account. Um, and so that lack of focus plus a rebrand um, right in the middle of this time frame just did not provide enough momentum to take advantage of an Amazon affiliates program. So the lesson here and the thing that I want you to be very aware of when looking into affiliate programs is to read the fine print. Like anything in life, they are trying to sell you on the program. And it is a good program and I'm going to revisit the program most likely in the future once I've gained a little bit more momentum in this platform, but I'm not going to, to be looking at that anytime soon, right? I need to, I might be a little gun shy, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna be a little bit more conservative uh, to when I look at jumping on board with an, another affiliate program or maybe take a look at an, other affiliate programs out there that are a little less strict in their rules um, as far as minimum sales. Maybe it's an indefinite, you know, anybody can sign up 
uh, sort of program. So who knows what direction I might go personally, but to you, read the fine print. And specifically with the Amazon affiliate program, a couple things I will really point out to you is one, pay attention to this minimum sales requirement. Otherwise they truly will cancel your, <laughs> cancel your account like they did with mine. And you can reapply and they, get, they can reapprove you. But if you don't get those extra sales again, there's a good chance they might not accept you a third time. But this really emphasizes my second point is be patient. You know, take a look at your following, take a look at your platforms. Is an affiliate program the right fit for you and where your platform is? Again, if you're really niche and have a dedicated following, that number of followers or subscribers might be a lot lower than somebody that's very broad in their reach. Um, and they might need a much higher subscriber or follower number to take advantage of an affiliate program. Um, thirdly, though, especially with the Amazon affiliate, I wasn't, uh, a, a, <laughs> I wasn't in the wrong on this particular point, um, but pay attention to how you handle your links with the Amazon affiliate program. They have a lot of rules. So things like link aggregators or link redirectors um, might violate their terms. And so that's something that you wanna pay attention to. People are gonna have different risk tolerances for this. Me personally, I just use the native links uh, generated within the Amazon affiliate tool. And then thirdly, I would really pay attention to, there's a variety of rules around how you announce your membership. So let me pull one of those up here real quick for you. Let's dive in and take a look at another point that I think is really important to keep in mind. And that's this rule here, this identifying yourself as an associate. I'm just going to read this because it is critically important. There's a lot of these weird caveats that you do have to keep in mind, but it makes sense if you look at it from a, a compliance and a legal standpoint. So you must clearly and prominently state the following or any substantially similar statement previously allowed under the agreement on your site or any other location where Amazon may authorize your display or other use of program content. As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. Except for this disclosure and other than as required by applicable law, you will not make any public communication with respect to this agreement or your participation in the associates program without our advanced written permission, you will not misinterpret or embellish your relationship with you, including my expressing or implying that we support, sponsor, or endorse you, or express or imply any affiliation between us and you or any other person or entity except as expressly permitted by this agreement. And man, that was a ton of legal speak, but, if you take it slowly and read through it, it simply is saying that you're allowed to say, I am an Amazon affiliate member. I am an Amazon associate, but you can't say that you're employed by Amazon, that you're sponsored by Amazon, that they endorse you in any way. You can't say how much money that you're making from their program. Um, it, it's, it's sort of a, an interesting position that you can say you're an Amazon associate and that's pretty much the extent of it can't say <laughs> Amazon supports you or any of this, you know, extra like financial lifting position, if you will, in and around the subject. So do keep that other point in mind. Obviously there's a much longer agreement that you should probably read through. Um, but those would be the, my big points. And a quick recap of those is be patient, make sure your platform's ready and um, understand there are minimum sales requirements. Um, two, we want to make sure that we have clean links and that we're following the rules around the Amazon affiliate links. And thirdly, in addition to reading the entire agreement and really understanding what you're getting into, uh, do keep in mind your verbiage, if you will, around announcing your Amazon associate status. So with those three things in mind, I'm excited uh, for the future here. I, I'm not growing this platform to, to make a, a ton of money. This isn't my day job. This is a passion of mine. I have a day job. 
and I have a couple other uh, businesses, but it was an important lesson learned that I hope I could share with you around using the Amazon Affiliates program. Although I do believe it's a great program, there are some various rules and regulations that you do need to follow. Otherwise, they can disassociate themselves from you, let you go, cancel your membership, or as I've called it, fired me from the uh, Amazon Affiliates program. So do keep these things in mind when going forth in your ventures. And if you have any questions about the Amazon Affiliates program, drop them below or share your experiences and some lessons learned that, that you've learned with affiliate programs, maybe not even exactly. Amazon affiliates. And of course, if you're enjoying the video and you learned something, hit that like, hit that subscribe button and uh, come join me weekly as I post new videos in and around building your business in the digital realm where we're gonna cover all the platforms. We're gonna cover all the different ways and in the future here, I'm super excited about some of the stuff I have planned. So stay tuned, 2021 is going to be an exciting year. So until next time, take it easy.